Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our Pro Master build out. We are picking up this week right where we left off last week and we are continuing work on our custom upper cabinetry. Over the weekend, we went ahead and got everything sealed up and we also got a divider installed in the cabinet, but I'll show you guys in just a second. Josh, <laughs> he's back there somewhere. Just finished getting the last few cuts for the second cabinet done and we're going to get started on assembly. If you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to follow along as we bring this van build to life. I'm getting so excited to move in. We've got all of our pieces pre-cut from the plywood behind me. We're working with kind of limited space today since we are working in the Home Depot parking lot. We're pretty confined to the space within the van, but I wanted to show you guys what we got finished up over the weekend, and then we will get working on assembling our second cabinet. We did finally end up finishing up the framing in the front of the van and the insulation and framing around the vent fan got that done yesterday. We also finished sealing up inside the edges of this cabinet and we did install a middle divider to kind of separate the storage that we have here. We used screws instead of nails to install this middle piece hoping to add some extra support to the structure before we install it up in its place on the wall there. Making the cuts on the second cabinet was much easier since we had already figured out the angles and had a stencil from the first cabinet, so that kind of streamlined the whole process for the second cabinet. Ready to get to work? Yeah. So now we're moving on to cabinet number two. Well, we got all the pieces cut, so it's basically like getting a box from Ikea at this point. <laughs> Did it come with really vague, unhelpful instructions? No. <laughs> no. Gotta love Josh's innovation here. <laughs> We're using the sawhorses for the rest, but just needed a little bit of extra support. humid in the Midwest. We are absolutely dying. I am going to run a couple of errands this afternoon. I'm going to leave you guys with Josh. He's going to work on a few projects while I'm gone. He's going to take super good care of you guys, I promise. We're also receiving some pretty exciting mail today that we are picking up while I'm out and we will do a little bit of an unboxing when I get back. I'm really excited to show you guys what's coming in. I'm excited to see it. We've been waiting on these for quite a while. So I'm going to get moving and you guys are going to get working.
morning guys you can always count on us to say that we'll catch you later today and catch you tomorrow anyway i wanted to show you what we got in the mail yesterday i'm so excited about what came in and i can't wait to show you guys so first off we got in two sets of our under cabinet lights i ordered the same exact ones that we used in our last fan build they are super thin and really easy to install they actually come with mounting stickers and all you have to do is drill a hole through the cabinet just wide enough to fit the wire and then you just stick the light up i will link these in the description box below if you guys are interested we loved working with them last time and i ordered two sets of the exact same thing for this fan next up is something i'm super excited about i ordered some different kind of cabinet knobs this time and i absolutely love them so we are doing these little leather loops on our cabinets this time they came in and the color is so beautiful and they have a little gold hook that will go right here i'm so excited to see how these turn out on our cabinets that we are building right now so josh got them finished yesterday which is super exciting today is painting day so we'll be doing that after i finish showing you guys mail Stop fiddling with that before I get a paper cut. Next up, we got in our table mount. I'm so excited about this. We did not go with this kind of table mount in the last van because they are quite pricey, but we got our swivel table mount in the mail. I'm not going to link this until we've tried it and you know can give our review on the product since it is a new product for us i did not order the lagoon table mount i ordered an off brand so i want to give you guys an honest review before i give you a link so that will be coming later and last but not least is my favorite package that we got we finally got in our custom back window covers I waited for quite some time for these and it was totally worth the wait. These are custom fit to our van model and they are magnetic so they should be super easy to just take up and down. The color of these, oh, so excited! Okay, I haven't actually put them up on the windows yet so I'm going to do that with you guys in just a minute to see how they look. and. I'm sure anything would look much nicer than the duct tape pieces of Reflectix that we've got going on right now. <laughs> All right, so that is it for this uh, mail time, and we're gonna get painting. See if I can climb back here. But before we can do any painting, we've got to do some sanding. <laughs> okay guys, I have a confession. I framed out this kitchen area like several inches too big for our countertops. So Josh's project while I paint is to fix my mistake. <laughs>
weather today is the biggest blessing. I actually had to go grab a sweatshirt, but Josh is going to be doing round two of painting. We just let things finish up drying up, and now we're gonna paint the outsides. Got one cabinet set up on the sawhorses there and the other leaned up against the wall. Get these painted and hung up. painted and while we let those dry we're gonna work on starting to frame up our kitchen oh, I'm so excited to start to see things come together Josh got it all corrected from my mismeasurement last week I was off by um, a decent amount yeah <laughs> All right guys, today's the day the cabinets are going up, but first we are gonna drill a couple of holes in the back for our under cabinet lighting wires to run through before we hang them. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, cabinet number two. First cabinet's going up. It's cabinet day. It's cabinet day. I'm really excited. Thank you. We are powering our close quarters drill from the inverter in our other van in the Home Depot parking lot today. A solar powered build day. Love to see it. Oh gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> I'm so excited, buddy! That's my closet! And then we also oh, step around some stuff here. Have a tree. Why does my phone always go off? Wait, say that again. <laughs> you can electric electric sander it. <laughs> Screw a hole through or Ha <laughs> 